YouTube, Google, stop it, please. Okay, so yesterday evening, I woke up. Yes, I said yesterday evening because I was a lazy fuck yesterday. But when I woke up, I checked my favorite commentator's videos, Tabuscus. You may know him. He's hilarious. But anyway, I checked his video. And at the end of the video, I looked down in the comments. And instead of people commenting on the video, there were people commenting on the new YouTube layout. And at this time, I didn't have the YouTube layout. My YouTube still looked the same. So I was commenting, saying stuff like, what is this fuckery of which you speak? And I was just asking people over and over, what are they talking about? And I finally got a reply saying it's the most disgusting thing they've ever seen. And I'm like, what? It can't be that bad. And that comment I just said got thumbs down. So I'm like, damn, it must be bad. So later on, I came back like a few hours later and the layout was finally there. And, you know, to the eye, to the naked eye, it doesn't look that bad. But once you dig deep into the new features and boo, it is a big fuck you. Now, it's not a big fuck you to you YouTube video watchers. You know, it's actually better for you guys, for you you know, people who just watch videos, you know, it looks better, you know, things are easier to find, and avatars are in the comments, like fucking Facebook. All that's good and dandy, but for us YouTube video makers, for my peeps, it is a fuck you. Now, we're about to get into why it is a fuck you. It is a fuck you because the home screen no longer shows just subscriptions. That used to be the thing. That used to be the smartest thing that YouTube had going for it. When you sign into YouTube, you know, your subscriptions popped up right in front of your face. But now to see just your subscriptions, you just have you have to manually click on my subscriptions. And not many people think to do that. They just usually go to their home screen and just scroll down to see what's going on. And for you smaller YouTubers, like I wouldn't consider myself a big, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't consider myself a big YouTuber because I only have like almost 700 subscribers. I mean, I came a long way, don't get me wrong, but you know, I'm nowhere near as big as some guys, but for you smaller guys who's trying to make it up, you know, in the YouTube, YouTube, YouTube game, God damn it, I can't speak, in the YouTube game, it's going to be harder for you guys. Why? Because you don't have many subscribers. And the subscribers that you do have, when your video comes out, their home screen is going to be full of recommended videos instead of your videos. Because the history that you have and the search, the searching that you do, I think, determines what is on your home screen now. I believe, I believe that's the, um, I believe that's the case. So, Unless you delete your history, every time you watch a video, it's going to be mostly recommended videos in the home screen. And that is a very, very bad thing for, you know, low subscriber YouTubers. Low subscriber YouTubers. Because you're not going to get many views. Not many people are going to go to my subscription just to click on, uh, you know, a new YouTuber. And, you know, it's, it's sad to say that Google really doesn't support many you know new newbie youtubers and that's just the truth and what makes it so bad is that the subscript that the video that you're looking for like the subscription you may be looking for may be b just literally buried in recommended videos like they're not even in time order like i looked at mine it said a recommended video five hours ago a recommended video three days ago a subscription Two hours ago, a recommended video. Four hours ago, a recommended video. A year ago, like what the fuck? But like I said, for you YouTubers who just watch videos, it's actually better for you guys because they make it a lot easier to access things. But for us, it's going to make our view count go way down, and they really need to change it back. You know, you know, it's okay to keep the avatars and stuff, but at least change it back to where when you log on to YouTube, your subscriptions pop straight up instead of recommended videos because it's actually more recommended videos than it is your subscriptions now. Not nobody wants to go to my subscriptions and look through that and, you know, find people that way. And 
you know, some people do, and those of you that do do that anyway may not think about it, but a majority, you no know, st statistics show that people usually look at your videos through their home screen, and that's the number one views people get, really, if you look at your st statistics. Mine was like that, and I know a lot of people who were like that, so for them to take that away, to take the subscriptions away from the home screen, is just ridiculous but what do you guys think about it do you like the new layout that's really the only thing that I you know the only problem I have with the layout everything else is actually kinda cool but that just overshadows everything as a you know a video creator myself it just fucking sucks Google you know really has no love for the you know newer youtubers but what do you guys think about it and if you're struggling because of this you know, let me know and I'll be glad to give you a shout out video or even put one of your videos in the description of mine just to help you out because I know it's hard to come up and it's going to be even harder now and this is going to turn a lot of YouTubers, you know, away and just keep them, just keep them watching videos instead of making them and there are a lot of talented people out there that need to be embraced by YouTube but YouTube is just making it harder for them. But I mean, it is what it is. YouTube is going to keep doing what it's doing. A new layout every few months for no reason. But, yeah, tell me what you guys think about it. This has been JB the Chiha. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out.